regular viewers may have noticed, I don't just read books, I read graphic novels and comics because they're books, they're just stories in picture and word form rather than just words. And I am in a household that is a big fan of Star Wars. Um, down here is, hide, well, hiding behind some of my books are actually my husband's Star Wars book collection. And then down below is the graphic novel collection as well. And so naturally we are going to pick up the comics. I came across this one a little while ago and decided, yeah, I like Poe Dameron. Probably one of the most coolest things in The Force Awakens. And he's got his own comic series. Of course I'm going to pick it up. I'm going to enjoy this, totally. And I have to say, yes, I have majorly enjoyed this series. Um, it's set just before the events of The Force Awakens and starts off with Poe trying to track down this guy who may have information where Luke Skywalker is. That's his mission. Unfortunately in the Star Wars universe things are never that straightforward. Unfortunately his path is crossed by Agent Terex who works for the First Order. This chappy here. And he's kind of out to crush the Rebellion get Poe Dameron quite happily in a cell and tortured for various points of information before killing him beautifully and Poe has to try and stay one step ahead of this guy and finds himself actually thwarted at every turn. I have to say the artwork in these comics is very very beautiful. This is one of their full page spreads that they do where you suddenly work out how the heck am I supposed to read this page. Uh, for those who don't know you start along the top because this panel goes across both pages and then you work way across the bottom. The characters are instantly recognisable. Their likeness is kept very steadily across the comics, which is brilliant. You're not suddenly sitting there looking at a guy going, is that Poe or is that somebody else? That doesn't happen in this series. The artwork is very, of, um, it's very continuous, it's very high standard and um, there's great continuity between it all. I also like the story. It's quite um, a big arc the first storyline and we learn a lot of history about some of the secondary characters in these comics. Um, we learn a little bit about Poe, obviously not too much because they're tied to what's going on in the film world and I suppose they're restricted by what they can tell us because the next one's coming out at the end of this year so they can't give us many spoilers. But we certainly get this impression that he is a very nice guy, he's the best of the best. He's got a team around him that he does trust and two events happen that he doesn't trust. And he is best buddies with BB-8. You know, I like that everything we saw in the film in The Force Awakens is in this series of comics. Nothing is set up ready for the film. It's already happening. If you only knew Poe Dameron from the film, you could pick up these comics and instantly recognise him. He's not a stranger in here. He's someone we know already and I quite like that. It's nice to go into a comic series and kind of know a little bit of safety that you know A because this is set before a film you know this guy's going to survive but B you know who this guy is. You're not sitting there trying to learn who he is which we might get some backstory later on, we might get some flashbacks, I don't know but it'll be interesting to see if they're going to give us any more juicy details of Poe's earlier life. I would say if you're not a fan of Star Wars you might find yourself getting a bit bogged down in some of the details that are given in here, certainly some of the world building that happens. Everything's described to you very beautifully. Um, everything is shown in spectacular detail as always and the Star Wars universe is quite a massive one so there's plenty of room for other planets, characters, species and all that. That's not a problem. You might find yourself a little bit overwhelmed though if you don't know the Star Wars universe, you don't know how big it is, you don't quite know what to expect. So I would say if you jump into this series blind, you might just be a little overwhelmed about actually who are all these people because it's not a set up story. This is just jumping straight in. We're with General Organa, we're with Poe Dameron, we're with the Resistance. The First Order is already established. It's like a mini little prequel to The Force Awakens. Um, and that's how I would describe it to someone. If you're a fan of Star Wars, you're going to like these comics because it is obviously a new storyline within the accepted canon as it is now. Now unfortunately all these books down here, they don't count anymore, which is really annoying. Um, but if particularly if you are a fan of Poe Dameron and BB-8, then you're going to love these comics because, like I said, 
this guy is exactly who you expect him to be from the film in the comics. He's not different, he's not establishing himself, he is who you expect him to be from the film. And that's really good. You get the witty banter, you get the sarcasm, you get the hey, whatever kind of attitude that Poe Dameron has, and you get some of the sass that BB-8 has. I mean, he has some very cool scenes in here. And they play the action scenes with BB-8 really, really well in the comics. They're really well structured and set up and visually they explain exactly what's happening in an action sequence but in a static form and I really like comics that are good at telling you that kind of thing you know this guy is doing this and he does this and then he does this and it's very coherently told the end of like, the first overreaching story as far as I can work out has finished with issue 14 this is quite a poignant issue there's a lot of reflection going on there's almost a tribute to Carrie Fisher in here without being like a direct tribute it's very well done it's very well handled and certainly this does seem to be the end of the first storyline um, so that's 14 issues which for some is quite a commitment but actually it's a worthwhile story being told here and it takes that amount of time to set up to develop to tell without it being too rushed there are some loose ends that obviously we will be tying up hopefully in the next issues to come in the next storylines to come um, but for the whole I'm very satisfied with how this story arc has finished that you know if I wanted to cancel my subscription I could and not feel cheated I've got a whole story and it's very well told and it's very satisfying I'm obviously going to carry on with it because it's Poe Dameron who wouldn't there you are that is the Poe Dameron Star Wars series written by Charles Soule artist is Phil Noto um, they do a spectacular job it's a well told story like I say it's beautifully um, illustrated so yeah I high praise to those guys they really know what they're doing with this it's now in collected graphic novel form I'm not quite sure what bind ups is, is that what you call it in America anyway they've been collected into like, volumes so if you wanted to go out and read this series you can go and get Poe Dameron Volume 1 out and about. I think it's actually got this cover on it. But it's like the first six, seven issues possibly. Um, and I know there is uh, another volume already out and about as well. So if you haven't picked up the comics and you want to read the series. You can now go and do it in graphic novel form. Which is rather nice. Less adverts. Sturdier format. But heavier. So there we go. So thank you very much. That's my review for Poe Dameron Star Wars Comics. Um, let me know what you think, let me know if you read any other comics, I mean obviously I have the Buffy, the Vampire Slayer series, the Serenity series, my husband had the ongoing Star Wars series, and we've also got the Darth Vader series somewhere in this house. Um, what graphic novels, what comics do you guys like reading out there, are you a Star Wars fan like us, what is your favourite Star Wars storyline, whether it be from the books, the expanded universe, from the films, you know there are discussions out there for that, or from the comics themselves, please let us know. Um, as usual, all my social media stuff is in the description box down below, Twitter, Goodreads and Instagram. Please follow me on there. I tend to keep it book related on those pages. Leave a comment below. Please like if you like this video. And thank you very much for watching. Happy reading everyone. Bye then.